Now your company, Health Bar, mm -hmm. um, comes out to the workplace or an individual's home to perform these uh, exams, uh, a nasal exam. We're gonna have Kimber come in, mm -hmm. uh, one of our employees here, uh, and she's, you're gonna do a nasal swab on her uh, and then provide results. Uh, can you kind of walk us through on, uh, before she walks in and kind of how you're gonna protect yourself and how to protect your kind of what the leading into that, how, what it's going to yeah. look like. Yeah, really at, from the clinician standpoint, if we're, when we're doing the collection is I want to make sure I have a pretty high grade mask on. So I'm going to put a uh, N95 style mask on myself, which helps with uh, viral particles coming in. The potential when I'm taking this sample is that the individual may sneeze a lot, um, you know, may cough a little bit depending on um, what their symptoms are. So. If they're wearing a mask, I'm just going to have them bring the mask down to above their mouth because I'll need access to the nasal passages. Um, but then I'll have the individual sit down um, and then to properly perform the test, I'll have them tilt their head back about 70 degrees. Um, I'll insert the nasal swab about an inch. It's so we'll take a nasal mid-turbinate sample is what it's called. Um, and we want to make sure we get really good um, contact with the nasal passages um, to make sure we're getting the right tissue in that, um, in that sample. So it takes about 10 to 15 seconds of sampling, um, which involves kind of holding it against the nasal patch passage fairly firmly, um, and then a rotational um, style for about three to five seconds, and then we'll hold out the nasal passage again, and then we'll draw and we'll have our sample. Um, oh, excellent, so we'll have Kimber come in. Sure, yeah. All right, cool. Right. Hello, my name is Nate, uh, working with Health Bar here. Uh, we're going to do a COVID test today. So what I'm going to do is kind of walk you through the test, go through exactly what you're going to be feeling and experiencing with that test, and then um, kind of coach you through it as we go through. Okay? All right. Sounds good. Have you ever had a test like this done before? I have not. No? Okay. So what we do is you'll have a couple different things. What we'll have here is uh, this is a collection swab that you'll be we'll be obtaining the sample with, and then this is the transport tube we put it in. So one of the things for this swab, uh, it's going to go in about that far, about an inch into your nose. And then one of the things that we do is, so I'll insert the swab, I'll have you tilt your head back to a 70 degree um, kind of slant, and then I'll put the swab up your nose. It's going to rest in there for a few seconds, like three to four seconds. I'm going to swab it in a rotation fashion for about five seconds, and then um, I'm going to hold it there again for another three to four seconds. Okay? Okay. All right. So what I'll have you do is kind of tilt your head back a little bit. And to do this, you can keep your mouth covered, but I'm going to have you uncover your nose. I'm going to get the swab out here. All right, I'm going to put my hand on just in the back of your head here. i say, really easy in here. Okay, here we go, a little resistance. You're going to feel that, just hold on the top of your nose there. Now I'm going to start rotating it. It's Circles here for a few seconds. Good job. I'm going to hold again for another few seconds. You're doing great. Good job. Just want to make sure I get really good contact with the nasal passage here to get a good sample and withdraw. Perfect. You can put your mask back on. All right. And that's it. All Thank right. you so much. You are welcome. Appreciate you allowing us to do that. <laughs> wow, Kimber was a rock star. Yeah. It seems super easy, mm -hmm. right? What are her next steps? What is she expecting um, from the results that we just took of the nasal swab? Yeah, so one of the things right after the swab's collected, uh, what we'll do is we want to get that to laboratory as soon as possible. So, um, so we'll get that there. The laboratory team will take over and uh, they'll start processing the sample. It usually takes anywhere between 24 and 72 hours to get the result back. Um, and at that point, we will reach back out to whatever client we're testing and we'll let them know uh, what their results are. So the scary thing for me, when I, if I was in her position, right, um, I, I'm asymptomatic or I have symptoms, um, I'm sitting at home or I'm going to work, what, what is your advice for those individuals after they get a test and they're going back home? So after your test, you're still in that concerning phase. So it's one of the things where you don't know there was a reason why you wanted to get tested. So you still have to quarantine or isolate for that period of time um, until you get your test results back. Once you get results back, then, depending on what the result was, will guide your future um, decisions. So, this with the COVID, we have a lot of people that are that are concerned that are not working, that they're going to come out and uh, go to the health bar, for example, right, um, yeah. or to another medical facility to get these tests. Uh, but 
for business owners, uh, what what can they do? What do they what should they be expecting when uh, they have someone who has a cough or a fever, um, and they come to the health bar? You know, what's their next steps that they should be looking at? Yeah, one of the things, and it depends on what services would be provided. A business can take a lot of different steps depending on what their uh, strategy would be in handling COVID right now. Um, but one of the things would be, you know, having a screening program and have that back in place. So individuals who do have symptoms, you know, could be screened out. And then if testing was considered necessary, have them tested. Um, otherwise, it's really waiting for a resolution of symptoms at that point. So you want individuals who are healthy, who haven't had symptoms for at least 24 hours and are really feeling good to be in the workplace um, with so many different options for working nowadays uh, with remote options and other uh, avenues to complete your work. Um, it's really the safest strategy to take is to, if you're able, um, just avoid the workplace and interaction right now with any other individuals while you're symptomatic. Um, and if you do then just decide to get tested, um, wait for those results to come back before doing anything else. Once you have the results, then you have a much clearer picture of what your strategy would be after that. Oh, that's awesome. Nathan, your energy and passion and knowledge is just, it is up here. So I really appreciate you taking time to spend uh, the afternoon with OVD. And uh, we have to make sure we're social distancing and putting our masks on. So thank you very much. We really do appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, no, you guys have been great too. And uh, looking forward to future conversations. Absolutely.